Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Megaton Rainfall. Now this is a game where you play basically as a superhero. You can fly around at supersonic speeds and you can unleash extremely devastating attacks. Now the main premise of the game is to save the planet. It's not really disclosed whether it's Earth or anything but it is basically around the same size and you have to save it from a global alien invasion. And if you would like to check out this game, the link is in the description. So, let us start a new game so you can see the introduction. And we're gonna look around with the mouse. Can you read this message, my offspring? If so, it means your transformation is complete. So, welcome to Megaton Rainfall, and as you can see, we now have control over our flight capabilities. And as you can see, we're also going very fast. Yes, very fast indeed. Some people have called this the Superman Simulator, and well, I think you can probably see why. You can certainly see why that would be the case. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Now, we have to gain altitude to accelerate, and, I mean, just look at how fast we're going when we go into space. That is just crazy. We haven't even gained our attack abilities just yet. Now, there are a number of reasons why this game is fantastic, and there are a couple as well that I will mention as the video progresses that I am a bit sad to see were not implemented shall we say. But who knows, maybe there'll, maybe there'll be a, uh, an expansion or some updates or whatever the case may be. But you'll see what I mean a little bit later on. But you can just see and marvel at the landscape, the scenery. That's a city down there, by the way. Yes, that's a city. Just passing by, just passing by at supersonic speeds. Nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, and also, did I mention that the soundtrack is fantastic? It seems to make you really feel like a true superhero, or a true, very, very powerful being. Now we just have to catch up to the Zeno Cube and progress to the next stage.
And that was another example of a very large city indeed. There are many, many skyscrapers and, well, the objective of the game is, of course, to prevent as many casualties to the population as possible. And, well, that's easier said than done. You'll see what I mean as well when we get our first attack of powers. So there we have it. Now we are left to our own devices. Now, of course, this is a game which very much has the speedrunning community at heart because you can speedrun this game like nothing else. There is an achievement to complete the game in under two hours. So I would assume that that is indeed something that, you know, people might be interested in. I'm obviously not the target audience for that. I'm, you know, I'm not particularly, you know, I'm not very good at speedrunning. It really depends on the game, of course. But here we are. We have the enemy. There's a green bar on the left. The green bar indicates how many casualties we have caused. So let's be a little bit careful. Yeah. You can kind of see what's happening here. We need to shoot at the red weak points and try to prevent as many casualties as possible but these guys are these guys are pretty fast you know they're running around pretty quickly so we need to be very careful about what we destroy because as soon as that green bar depletes itself that is going to mean a bit of a game over it will take you to the last checkpoint that was saved and luckily there's a pretty decent autosave system in place which will give you the opportunity to restart at a pretty decent location. And there comes more of the pretty amazing soundtrack, and I personally feel like the soundtrack is really, really suited to this game. Whoops, okay, I... did I... oh, oh dear. I may have... Uh, did I do something bad? No. It seems like this skyscraper is still intact. Decent enough. I was actually wondering whether I could headbutt them or something, but it seems like I can't. Okay, unfortunately, if you are not quick enough, like I wasn't, then <laughs> the game's just like, don't shoot at the buildings. Yeah, if, you are, if you're not quick enough to stop the alien threat, they will deal much more damage than you will. So obviously that's a, that's a big, big problem there. There we go. Now, that is a checkpoint. The game will slow down and give you a really, really cool, awesome slow motion effect. 
when there is a checkpoint. So you know exactly where you were when that happened. And now they're going to give me a new enemy type. Now this enemy type, I gotta say, I think... Oh no, actually, no, never mind. The next enemy type is the one that I'm talking about that is very, very difficult for me. This one is a little bit easier. Now, you can get this for PlayStation VR, as far as I'm aware. So if you are someone that has that, then you can very easily get the game there. Otherwise, there is no VR on the PC, which is kind of strange, but I don't know. Maybe it, uh, maybe it just didn't really work out too well on this platform. Oh dear. Things are not going too well. There's a chair. Did you see that chair just fly by us? Yeah, that was rather amusing. Okay, so now hopefully... Hopefully... Oh dear. Hopefully I have enough casualty bar left to deal with this last enemy. Well, one of the last enemies. Because this enemy I found is pretty difficult. Yeah, you can see here. This is the enemy right here. And it's extremely small and really, really annoying. Because it's fast. Really fast. Ah, no, ah, yes, I, I think I may, I think I may have a big problem here. Now the big problem, you ask, is my casualty bar is at 1%, so it seems like we are going to have a bit of a problem. Yes. There we go, there's the restart. Yeah, so if you are a little bit better at stopping the aliens from destroying the city, then you don't have to worry about that so much. But, well, as it is, I'm not particularly good at controlling our superhero just yet. But do you see how fast this is? All, all of these buildings, by the way, are completely destructible as well. But that's the problem. That is what I was talking about earlier in the video. There are a number of things that are kind of I don't know, talking to me, they're kind of being like, Hey, don't you want to destroy this completely destructible environment? And yes, yes I do. I don't want to just run after aliens. I'd like to inflict some damage. I mean, just look. They give you a massive sandbox. It's crazy good. Crazy good sandbox. And I'd love to be able to explore it a little bit further as this thing runs into all of the, all of the buildings. That's not very nice of it. Oh my, yes. Things things are not going too well here. Now this enemy is pretty difficult because you're going to have to shoot inside like this to be able to destroy its various weapon arms. And you have to be very, very cautious about that because it has a reflective body, as you can see. And this reflective body can reflect your own blasts to the, yeah, to the population, as you just saw there. We just gained a whole bunch of casualties from that. So that's not very nice, is it? Whoops! Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, now we need to be a little bit careful here, because this thing is trying to kill the population. Yes, but again, it has reflective surfaces, so my blasts are going to hit the ground, which is not very good. Now, if... <laughs> this is Big Ben, as far as I'm aware, so we're apparently in England at the moment, which is rather amusing. Anyway, let's go over here, try and stop it from shooting, because it's going to cause a huge amount of casualties if I allow it to. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is bad. Well, at least you get to see the... Wow. Okay. That was impressive. I actually don't even mind seeing that because look at it. Look at what look at what it's doing. Wow, that is amazing. Do you see the utter destruction that could be brought? That's exactly the reason why I think having a different mode apart from this one would be fantastic for you to just be allowed to run around in the environment, the free roam environment, and maybe add, like, more enemies or something. I don't know. It's just... There's such an amazing sandbox here. And I'd love to see more of what could be done with it, to be honest. Okay, now, can I actually stop it this time? Did I, did I stop it this time, or did I fail? No, I think I did it this time. 
Phew. Okay. I mean, you're bound to get some casualties unless you're absolutely amazing at this, which I'm not, obviously, but uh, yes. Okay, come on. Yep, there we go. It's pretty easy to stop it if you can anticipate where the red light is going to go, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it's a bit difficult to see for me. There it is, the mothership has been defeated, and now, you get ranked. You get ranked on the amount of casualties that you were <laughs> allowing to be caused, basically. Now, I'm gonna get a very bad rank, because obviously I allowed the mothership to shoot its very, very large weapon. I kind of wanted you to see that, though, even though I... Yeah, even though I kind of failed to stop it. I did want to, I did actually want to see that, and I wanted to show you that as well, because the sheer amount of destruction that is capable in this game is fantastic. I mean, just look, look at these buildings right here. All of these buildings are completely destructible. Oh, total human casualties, 78? Okay, apparently I'm going to get actually a pretty decent rank. They don't count the restarts, so... <laughs> okay, rank B. I will take rank B, thank you very much. Alright. My offspring, come with me. Alright, so now we have a choice to make. We can either go to A, or we can go to B. Where do we want to go? Well, considering I got rank B, I'm going to go to B. Why not? Let's have a little bit of synergy going on there. But you see this absolutely insane, huge city right here. Just look at that. And if I go above, yep. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I can go all the way out to space. Yes, all the way out to space. And we can take a, a look around, you know, a look around the planet and see what's going on here. And I actually wonder, can I go any further than this? Well, I think I might be able to a little bit later on, but let's go to B and see what our creator slash father has to say to us. But do you see how fast we're moving? It's crazy. And then we can enter the atmosphere once again at breakneck speeds. And there's the ocean. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm just blown away. It gives you such a satisfaction feeling when you're flying around, and it's just such an amazing free-roaming experience. But again, that's what I mean. It feels like it's a bit too constrained, because it's it's telling me, hey, you know what? Go after those aliens, and that's fine. I, I'm perfectly fine to blow up some aliens with my amazing, damaging powers. But I'd like to see what more we can do with this, because the engine runs absolutely perfectly. It runs at a perfect frame rate, no no kind of lag spikes, no nothing. It's just absolutely smooth as silk gameplay, and I want to see what more can be done with this. Because this to me seems like the amazing basis of something much larger, you know? But, well, we'll see whether, you know, we'll see whether that actually happens. Anyway, we're almost at B here. And we're going to go and see what's going on. All of this is my fault. So much death and destruction. I never imagined the intruders would steal the Xenospheres and would learn to use the power the spheres contain to travel to your world.
my advent will come. And then everyone will know who I am and why your universe was created. And you'll know how important your appearance in this universe is and how vital it is that the intruders disappear. Until that day, Oh yeah, and on top of the absolutely amazing sandbox experience, they do have a very intriguing story too. I want to find out what happens, don't you? Yes, I certainly do. Anyway, let's go into the next fight here. As far as I'm aware, this is the only way I can go. Yes, it is. Alright, so let's go into the next fight here. I'd like to try out this new ability. Wouldn't you want to see what this new ability is like? Yeah, it stops time. I mean, really, how can I say no to that? Yes, how can I? Anyway, let's try and get there as soon as possible. So I'm going to go into space real quick and, uh, well, <laughs> wow, that is very fast indeed. Isn't that very fast? Wow, that is just crazy. I hope you've noticed as well, by the way, that the soundtrack is adaptive. So when there's action, obviously there's a very action-packed soundtrack. And when there's quiet moments, like now, there's nothing. It's just a nice ambient little hum in the background. Let's go down to the planet's surface and see what else we have to deal with. Ooh, it's a fighter craft. Or it looks like a fighter craft to me. I don't know whether I was able to get there in time. Ah, there's the paralyze ability. Wow, that's actually really amazing. Okay, so there's the big ship. It's a little bit of a different design this time around. And as you can see on the left there, we have the cooldown for my paralyze ability. So we have about, hmm, seems like maybe 40 seconds, 30 seconds, might be 30 seconds, something like that. But that's, pr that's pretty good, because obviously you don't want to have too much power, do you? Do you want too much power? I think so. <laughs> All right, so next time we're having a look around here. What's going on? What's he doing? Oh, there's two of them. Okay, let's shoot it. Okay, we gotta destroy these these things. Oh dear. Whoops, sorry. Sorry, humans. <laughs> I'm going to paralyze time at the moment because I want to do as much damage as I can without them moving. There we go. Alright, there's a couple on the... Ah, no! Oh dear. That is not good. Whoops. Alright, well, I tried my best. Sorry, humans. Yes. That was not, uh, not the best, I guess. Ooh, what is that? Ah, we have something else coming to the surface here. Ah, it's one of these. Oh, okay. Well, we need to be a little bit careful about it. Okay, I'm just going to try and shoot it. Ooh, that did not work. Okay. Yep, got it. But I did cause a little bit of uh, a couple of casualties in the process. What is that? What is this? Ah, hello. And I literally just 
<laughs> uh, I kind of did fail that. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. I, I have a lot of fun playing. So, if you would like to check out this game, the link is in the description. And, uh, well, I'm having a lot of fun with it myself. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.